morning, everybody. Jason Watt here. Uh, Darts with Jason Watt on YouTube. Uh, Darts with Jason on uh, Facebook. So check us out. Today we're going to be doing a review on some soft tip barrels that um, I picked up last week. We have the Phil the Power Taylor Power 9 5 Generation 5 20 gram soft tip barrels. Um, yeah, picked them up new last week off a guy and uh, thought I'd give a review real quick to everyone out there to have a look at them. Um, if you're not familiar with them, maybe you'll want to pick up a set. Um, if not, uh, you know, just sit back and watch the video and have the typical, uh, typical target uh, packaging here. Um, nice box, nice advertisement on the front of the fill and the barrel. Open it up, you have uh, some more advertisement of Phil with the actual dart here. Very nice looking dart. More of a torpedo shape um, as he was custom to uh, throwing later in his career. 95% um, tungsten barrel. Ultra Ghost Flight G5 titanium power shaft texture grip. That sandblasted grip in the back there. Laser etch barrel, trapezoidal grip. It's kind of like the RV, RV, uh, B, Raymond Van Barneveld darts. Has a uh, titanium nitrate coating on it and the pixel tip. So let's open them up and take a look what we got in here. Typical uh, target packaging here um, for the nicer upper upper line of darts. You got the, uh, the little card verifying the weight, 20 grams there. Take a closer look at one of the one of the darts here. You can see uh, here's the sandblasted rear they were talking about. It has Phil's name etched in it, uh, Phil's signature there, and it has the target logo etched over here. The pixel tip, as it discussed in the on the back of the box, and then your trapezoidal grip here. It's more like the target um, Elijah, Elijah, I think. Um, the real uh, limited edition darts. You have the G5 titanium shaft with uh, with this flight here. It's more of a kite, it's a very small looking kite flight. Here you can take a look at the uh, the shaft and the flight. There. Oops. Need to do that. Take a look at the uh, the barrel. A very very short barrel I would say between 35 millimeters to 42 millimeters maybe so very short I don't have my calipers on the next review I definitely have some calipers and a scale to weigh so um, very very good craftsmanship as you're typically uh, seeing from Target my overall opinion of the dart is uh, personally for myself it's a little too small um, I would hold the dart towards the rear here and uh, the grip is you know back here with the sandblasted part this grip feels really good smooth but it does have some a little bit of texture to it it actually has feels like to me it has more grip than the front here where the trapezoidal grips at so on a scale of probably 1 to 10 on grip, I would probably give it about a three or a four, honestly. It's not very aggressive. Um, it's a very pretty dart. And I would throw them, but I, they've never been thrown, so I don't wanna I don't wanna throw them and make them used. So I'm not gonna throw these tonight. Just kinda wanna give you guys a review of what I what I think is uh, a very, very good looking dart. Um, if I if I was to throw these, I'd definitely change this shaft out and make and put a longer shaft on there with a standard flight. But uh, yeah, if this is your kind of dart. Definitely, uh, definitely give Target a look. Um, I know they come out with the Gen Six. I think the Gen Six actually smooth up here. Doesn't have any grip up in the front. I don't believe, if I remember seeing it correctly. And if I pick up a set of those, I'll do a review on those as well. So anyway, guys, thanks for checking out the uh, the page. Make sure to like us on uh, hit the subscribe button. On YouTube, we're going to be doing a lot more, uh, a lot more reviews. 
And uh, if you're not a follower on Facebook, make sure to check out Darts with Jason on Facebook where we stream live dart matches and have dart matches streamed on there. Um, but, uh, yeah, we appreciate the support, and uh, everyone have a good night. Thanks.